Hi guys, Angie here from Fun Endeavors Tie Dye Lab. Today I'm going to be dyeing a diagonal DNA or an offset shirt, whichever one you prefer to call it. I'm going to fold along a diagonal line that I've drawn across my shirt. You can also fold your shirt in half diagonally and fan fold to get the same effect. If you fold your shirt that way, you just have to remember that when you apply the dye, the end where your fold is will be twice the width on the shirt of your other lines unless you account for that and you add just a smaller line of dye to that portion. It will also make your layers on your shirt a little bit thicker, so you need to make sure you get your dye all the way through the shirt. I'm going to use liquid dye for this shirt. I've mixed up my colors. They're colors from Dharma Trading Company. On the front side of the shirt, I'm going to use, in this order, lapis, avocado, turquoise, kelly green, sapphire blue, and forest green. I'm going to repeat them all the way down the shirt in the same order. Now when I flip the shirt over to the back side, I'm going to offset my colors by one. So this time, I'm going to start with avocado, followed by turquoise, kelly green, sapphire blue, forest green, and I'm going to end with lapis. The only change in the order of my colors is that I move my first color lapis to the very end and am starting with what was originally my second color, which was avocado, thus offsetting my colors. going to continue down the back side of the shirt repeating these colors in order. I'm also going to periodically check to make sure I'm getting good dye saturation throughout the shirt. I don't want a whole lot of white left on this shirt, so I want to keep checking to make sure the dye is soaking all the way through. You'll see me do that as I go along. With as many colors as I'm using, it's going to be very difficult if I wait till I'm finished with the entire shirt to go back and check it to remember what color went where on the shirt. So that's why I'm checking it as I'm going along. So this is one disadvantage of tying the shirt the way I did instead of going ahead and just folding it in half and fan folding down the shirt is that it makes the shirt so long. I have a really long rack thankfully that it will fit on but it makes the shirt a lot longer. So it takes a little while longer to make it all the way down with the dye. It seems like it's taken forever to get to the end of this shirt with all this dye. But trust me, I eventually will get there. Well, all of the dye is on and I've let it sit and process for about a day and a half. So I'm ready to wash it out. Let's get going. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it looks pretty dark, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the washing machine, and I'm sure a lot more of this dye will come out in there. Just as I suspected, it did lighten up a lot after I washed it. I like the offset pattern. I like the blue and green combination. What do you guys think?